So for question 15, we're asked about the molecular geometry around sulfur in thionyl fluoride. Um, and so in this case, right, oxygen has got six electrons. Sulfur also has six electrons. And then I've got two fluorines. So there's 14 electrons. So we're looking at 26 um, total valence electrons that we have to assign. Um, the least electronegative atom goes in the center and electronegativity, right? It increases as we go to the upper right, which means it decreases down a group. So even though oxygen and sulfur are in the same group, because sulfur is farther down, it's going to be less electronegative. So we're going to place uh, sulfur in the center and then we need to have three domains, three bonding domains off of it. Um, so we've got oxygen, um, fluorine, and fluorine. So I just assigned one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight electrons there. That puts 18 electrons left. We're going to fill the octet of fluorine. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Fill the octet of oxygen as well. 13, 14, 15, 16. All right, two electrons left. Those last two electrons um, would go on sulfur, right? Don't have anywhere to put those electrons. It's a little bit hard to see drawing it this way. Um, so I'll just draw it one more way that we maybe can better see the geometry. So I will just do sulfur here and then oxygen, fluorine, fluorine, and then our lone pair of electrons up there. And so the key, right, we've got how many domains total? Yeah, I've got four domains. Four domains means, four electron domains, means the electron domain geometry is tetrahedral. Of those four domains, three are bonding, right? Three bonding domains, which puts us trigonal, pyramidal, right? So that's like the, the same molecular geometry as ammonia. So we're going to have that lone pair of electrons on nitrogen in ammonia. So yeah, the key is just realizing to draw that structure. Uh, we need to have four electron domains. Um, four electron domains puts in the tetrahedral geometry. When we finish that structure, however, one of those four domains is non-bonding. So that drops us down to the molecular uh, geometry of trigonal pyramidal for the overall shape of the molecule, geometry of the molecule.